Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion on one you want me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. And this is multi inventories or multi in for short. And it's made by Tux2, which was he took it over from Plucker Pluck. So the reason that this kind of came up, I'm deviating from my original schedule and plan because of other things I'll talk about at the end of the video, but this is a new multiverse world inventories. The pre the multiverse inventories is having some issues 1.9 and it will be updated, but this is a very popular one. It has some other features that multiverse does not. Uh, it does do separate world inventories. It even does separate inventories in the same world. So you can separate a creative and survival inventory in the same world, which is super cool. It, it separates your XP, your food, health, effects, ender chest stuff, <clears throat> which is all normal. You can even ignore certain players. If they have a certain permission node, they will just bypass and they can pull their... So your admins and stuff, maybe you don't want them to like have to mess with switching inventories depending on what world they're on all that stuff. You can also inven import from multiverse inventories. You can use a MySQL database or just the standard flat, flat file. So it does require tux to lib and it doesn't work with uh, below 1.7.9. So you have to be above that in order for this to start working due to UUID stuff. And it doesn't work with Mob, Mob Arena. It has some issues with that, so just a, a note on that. It does have a bungee cord thing, so... Uh, whoa, hello. Look at this big go. So note on bungee cord, you do need to set up your bungee cord network correctly. So you do need to set your IP forward to true in your bungee cord.yml. You can check out my tutorial on, uh, I'll put a link up here on bungee cord. And then you'd also need to set your bungee cord to true in your spigot.yml. You can try go doing inventories across servers using the database if they point them at the same database, but it is kind of flaky, the author says, so keep that in mind. Um, so basically what this does is it separates your inventory. So if we do, we're in um, the hub world. So if we do MV inventory, we can see that we're in hub. So if we do MVTP world, which is one of the standard uh, worlds, we're gonna teleport over there, GMC. And you can see that we have a totally different inventory in this world and we can uh, teleport back. So what we can do, and I'll show you guys in a second here. So there's no real in-game commands. So before we jump over and show you guys that in the same world they share inventories or same groups they share inventories, we need to jump over to survival inventory and then we do MVTP world underscore nether and then we're gonna transfer and it's a dangerous place so we gotta confirm and uh, you can see that we have that inventory. And actually, if we go into creative mode, you can see that we have that granite. So there we see that separation between creative and survival inventories, which is really cool. So maybe we want the hub to share the inventory. So we're gonna pop over to the configuration real quick here. So you can see that we have our server and we are running in uh, 1.92. I could, I ran into some problems with 1.94. It's not updated to that yet, but it does work in 1.92. And then we jump into our plugins folder. We can see that we have that multiverse inv and that tux2 lib in there. And then it creates this multiverse multi inv folder. Now, if that folder's not there, the plugin's having trouble starting. So check your console, check your logs to figure out why it started. Most commonly, you're not on the right version of Minecraft for it. And then uh, we can open up our config and groups. So let's open up the config there. And uh, we can see that here's our config. We can force it to use a database so that if we set that to true, that means that we got to fill out this and point this at our SQL database. Uh, you have your creative groups. So you can have different types of creative groups rather than just straight up creative. Um, save it, you know, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the separate compatibility mode, if you have a plugin that's having troubles with the inventories and your inventories aren't working correctly, set that to true, see how it goes and give that a try. So then we're gonna hop over to the groups. So this is the default group. So if we want to add that um, hub world in here, we just add hub and then we're gonna go in here. We're gonna do multi in reload. Now, if we go uh, MVTP hub, 
Now you can see that we've brought over, actually that's our survival inventory. We've brought over our granite, both survival and creative inventory, which is really cool. I love that it separates creative and survival inventory. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's all done in the config, so I'd highly recommend that you get Notepad++ in this. Um, I guess we could talk about a couple more uh, commands if you want to import. So let's say that you've been using the flat file, you want to transfer to a database, you could just do multiverse inventory import. And then that is going to import everything that's in the flat file over to your database, which is really cool. And then if you do MV import, that's going to import everything from multiverse inventory over to the new inventory system. So you do need to run multiverse inventories at the same time and then just remove it once you're done. And that's all that it is to it. Pretty quick and easy plugin. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you do. If you run into any problems, the author does have a forum. So go ahead and post on there on the bucket page and then uh, they'll do their best to help you out. Keep in mind, most common, most common, most common issues are incorrect versions of Minecraft. So make sure that your server version of Minecraft is correct for this. Also, it does require that Tux2Lib plugin. So this is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Uh -oh.